Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You're joining us once again for our December devotionals where we are taking a look at one of the ornaments on our chrismon tree. Now I know chrismon is a strange word, but it's actually the combination of two words, Christ and monogram. All of these beautifully decorated ornaments were each handmade by one of the ladies in our church. And they also have another function. They serve as reminders of the titles and attributes of Jesus. They teach us theology at Christmas time. And so once a day through December until we arrive at Christmas, we will be looking at one of those ornaments. And today we're gonna look at the chalice. Now I'm sure when you see the chalice, probably your first thought is the communion cup and you'd be right. The cup at communion was filled with wine and it was passed around the table and Jesus instructed his disciples to take and drink. First Corinthians 10 says the cup of blessing that we bless. Is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Now, you know, a few times a year, I'm asked to take communion to people in their homes, and I'm happy to do it. However, communion is really an ordinance for the entire church. Like our verse just said, this is something that we practice together as a body. Those of us who enter into that time of communion, we are doing it with one another because we understand that we collectively are the body. And then the cup represents the blood of Jesus. We who are many form one body and we are all partakers of that one cup. The blood of Christ is a celebration of a new relationship. The blood of Christ is a constitution of a new covenant. How it would typically go is the Passover would take place on a Friday night during the Seder. Uh, every single adult would have four glasses of wine. There's actually a fifth glass of wine, but they wouldn't drink from that cup. Four cups typically drunk, and they all are taken from a passage in Exodus, uh, chapter six, verses five through seven. So the first cup is that of sanctification. Exodus says, I will bring you out. The second cup is the cup of deliverance. Exodus says, I will free you. After eating, Jesus and his friends drink a third time from the cup of redemption or the cup of blessing, where it says, I will bless you. And this is the cup that we observe today when taking communion, the one in which Jesus sets up the new covenant. Now, interestingly enough, Jesus doesn't actually drink from the fourth cup and he instructs his disciples not to either. That's the cup that says, I will protect you. And Jesus says, I will not drink from this cup until we all drink from it together when we are in heaven. So it's back to this third cup of deliverance or redemption or blessing that we return to at Christmas time. The angels that appeared to the shepherds said that the deliverer was born, but it wasn't gonna be a warrior king like they all expected. No, it was going to be a baby. Jesus came in a way that nobody expected, but it was that same baby who took that chalice and held it aloft and said, drink, this is my blood given as a new covenant for you. Merry Christmas.